What's up, y'all? Thanks for checking out this week's lesson. We're going to do kind of a scale study type A2 deal where we just learn all the different positions to use your E, Ionian, E major, F sharp Dorian, and B7. Once you learn these shapes, you'll be able to move them around and easily transpose them to all 12 keys. But if you need some extra assistance, go ahead and reach out and we can set up a Zoom lesson for you. But uh, working on this stuff is really what helped me grow probably the most out of anything I've ever worked on. So I hope you guys dig this, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Alright, that's for our little scale study. And uh, you can check out all the scales I used in the scale diagrams I made for y'all. And the only notes that will not be in there are going from your one chord to the two chord, just a little passing tone to go from the 5 of the E, which is the B note of the 5th scale degree, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to chromatically walk down and land on that minor 3 of the 2 chord, the flat 3rd scale degree of the F sharp minor, and we're doing the same thing up here. Yeah, real slowly, it's like 1, 2, So you can check out each of those scale degrees I've pulled up there, um, you know, scale diagrams rather. But real quick, I made a little uh, backing track for you all to check out and to practice those scales too, so they become second nature for you. And this is how I practice all my tunes or learning how to improv is I would just run scales over the chord progressions until it started to open up for me. And uh, on this one, you'll have every scale you'd need from basically about here, 14th fret down, to play this tune. But yeah, I'm gonna pull that little etude up and we can practice together. start one with uh, the fifth string root starting on the index finger and maybe you want to start on the F sharp Dorian with your pinky finger shape which I'm not terribly familiar with I'll be honest but it's good to just be thorough with it because you'll see that whenever you learn the shape down here so it gets everything down here, and then you bring your pinky down here. It just kind of connects everything, and then from there, your pinky covers all this basis, but then you start on your index, and you get that shape. 
once you get up here, you're right back to just starting that whole shape over. It's uh, might be a little boring at first, but once you get that down, you'll be able to kind of mix and match each diagram over the chord progression to make it suit your needs. Awesome.